I'm Corporal Remington Hall, and this is the Core Report. Last week, Arleigh Burke class destroyer DDG-124 was renamed the USS Harvey C. Barnum Jr. Colonel Harvey Barney Barnum is a Marine Corps Vietnam veteran and Medal of Honor recipient. In the words of the Secretary of the Navy, Ray Mabus, destroyers are kind of like the person we're honoring here today. They're incredibly versatile, and they can do a lot of things at once. The USS Harvey C. Barnum Jr. will set sail in 2024 and further the Colonel's legacy. California 8-year-old Wyatt Gillette is the Corps' newest Marine. He received his Eagle Globe and Anchor Saturday after a long battle with a rare terminal genetic disorder. The story is best summed up by Wyatt's father, Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Jeremiah Gillette. He has fought harder in the last almost eight years than I will ever have to. If I earned the title, I believe he has as well. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Wyatt. The Commandant of the Marine Corps General, Robert Neller, has designated 3rd Battalion, 5th Marines, Dark Horse, as the Marine Corps' experimental force. Currently at 29 Palms, Dark Horse is participating in the MAGTAF Integrated Experiment. The Corps Report's very own Lance Corporal Molly Hampton is on the ground with more. Hey everyone, I'm Lance Corporal Molly Hampton and I'm here at the Combat Center in 29 Palms for the MAGTAF Integrated Experiment. MiG-16 is the Marine Corps Warfighting Lab's experiment that has 21st century concepts and capabilities in a real-time warfare scenario likely to be seen in the future. Today we have Sergeant Kevin Peach, a squad leader with 3-5, here to tell us why MiG-16 is different than any other training. Take it away, Sergeant. Uh, so the MiG-16 is probably the most realistic thing you're going to get to combat. Um, it's 120 degrees out here. We're sweating our asses off, and we're kicking indoors and doing what grunts do. Uh, on top of all that, we're actually getting all the technology. Uh, the drones, the, the all the vehicles that shoot robots, it, yeah, it's incredible. Uh, now, given it a squad leader, uh, you're given all that, all that stuff and saying, here, go to work. So it, it's a good time. Thank you for sharing with us, Sergeant. Stand by this week for more coverage on MiG-16. For more on these stories, see the video description or visit our official social media sites. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time right here on The Core Report.